All right, so what you're gonna need to do it, you're gonna need some note cards if you're doing the note card method, which you'll see in the video later. And you're gonna need uh, your cans of Plasti Dip, which you can get them a lot of places, which I'll tell you in the video later also. Um, I used one can that pretty much covered four coats on two wheels. So you should probably only need two. Maybe you get a third just so you'd be safe. You can always use it later, but um, that's all you need for the jobs. You need the plastic dip, that, and uh, just a place to paint it that's nice and warm and ventilated because this stuff does get to you if you're spraying it for a while. Okay, use the foam cleaner to clean most of the shit off. It still has a little bit of dirt and grime like down here in those spots. To get that, you're just gonna have to get a rag and clean it out old fashioned way. Most, most part, they came out pretty good. But um, you just wanna make sure they're completely clean. Get a rag if you have to, like mine. Because mine been in storage for a while, so they're pretty dirty. These are gonna be my winter tires, so I don't have to right on my rims that I have on there right now but um I'm gonna be cleaning these off and in a couple days I'll do the spring and um I might try to put a wheel on there to see how it looks because um I'm gonna be putting these on in like a couple months just gotta paint them now since it's the summertime and it's actually warm out and I can't do it in the winter obviously because it'll be too cold but uh I'm gonna go ahead and get these all cleaned and then uh I'll have a video of uh, me spraying them, so. Okay, I only got two down right now, because I only have two cans. Uh, they're completely cleaned, I'm about to spray them. Uh, I did a thing called the note card method, which just makes it so you don't get on tired and makes it easier to clean up. About 20 to 25 cards on each one, depending on how you space them out. Um, I put some stuff down here. So nothing gets in the threads when I spray it. The first coat you're gonna mostly or you're mostly gonna do just the flat spots. You're gonna go around here. You're gonna get these, and then you're gonna get the flat spot inside the top of the spokes. Also, you don't want to do too many angles or anything on the first coat. You want to make sure there's about 50% coverage. Okay, first coat's done. About 50% coverage, not too much. Looks pretty good, came out pretty decent. Alright, so that's the third coat. Start 
cover nicely. It's just hard to get into those right there. The insides mostly. Just gotta watch out for that. You don't get too much product on it. Also the inside of the lug nut holes, that's pretty hard to get into. But yeah, I'll probably put about five coats on it. Just so it sticks really good through the winter. This one's starting to cover a lot better. But yeah, I'll probably put about two, three coats more. Well, got it all done. It's about five or six coats on it. Uh, it's first time doing a set of wheels. I think it came out pretty awesome. These are just going to be my winter wheels, so uh, it's just going to protect it a little bit against the salt, even though they're pretty shitty anyways. Um, I still have two to do. This is just uh, what it looks like regular. I got two of them to do. I got the center caps done. I got to put those on. Here's the other one. Looks pretty good. But uh, that's pretty much how you do it. So, uh, you guys can try this at home. Not very expensive. It only costs about uh, $6 a can from where I am at like uh, Menards or Home Depot. Or some Walmarts have them too. Back in the paint section. But uh, I'm going to let these in the sun so they cure a little bit. But uh, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed the video.